Hi everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. There's one blood test which is an excellent marker of your overall metabolic health. And I actually think every adult should be regularly checking this blood test. I actually made a video about this blood test last year and how I was seeing a disproportionate number of patients with COVID-19 present with elevated levels of this particular blood test. What am I talking about? HbA1c, that is glycated hemoglobin. This measures your blood sugar control over an extended period of time. So it's different from say a spot blood sugar check which measures your blood sugar at one particular point in time. A HbA1c blood test measures your blood sugar control over a period of about three months or so which is the typical length of time that a red blood cell lives. So it's glucose, which is attached to a red blood cell. Why is this important? Well, having elevated blood sugar levels wreaks absolute havoc on your body. And it's often the first sign that your metabolic health is starting to fall off the wagon. And I'll tell you a typical scenario. An adult gets really busy with work, with life, and they're they aren't taking proper care of themselves, their diet kind of falls off a cliff and they stop exercising. And the first thing, or one of the first things that happens is that their HbA1c starts to creep up. What is a normal HbA1c? Well, ideally you want it less than 5.6, but it's good to be as close to five as possible. 5.7 to 6.4 is pre-diabetes, and more than 6.5 is diabetes. Now, if you start going up with regards to your blood sugar in the pre-diabetic or diabetic range, it spells absolute potential disaster for your metabolic and immune health. And what we see all the time in hospitalized patients who have elevated blood sugars is impaired healing. We know that their immune system is affected and there can be multiple complications from any illness if you run at a high blood sugar. And I'm going to include pre-diabetes in that as well because there's millions and millions of people with pre-diabetes who don't even know yet. I can't tell you actually the number of times in hospital, this is even away from COVID with other illnesses as well, I will check people's HbA1c and I will tell them for the first time that they are either pre-diabetic or diabetic. It happens to me every single week. I have to tell a patient that news because I've seen what the HbA1c result is and they had no idea whatsoever, but their blood sugars have probably been creeping up for a long time. We actually don't have much room for maneuver when it comes to our blood sugar levels. If you think what the typical blood sugar should be at any one time, and we know that a typical adult has about five liters of blood circulating in them at any one time. If you do the maths, by the way, I'll never understand why Americans call it math without the S. If we do the mathematics, you can work out that the typical human at any one point in time should have about four grams of sugar circulating in their blood, and that is about one teaspoon. That is it. We don't want it to get above that level. So what should somebody do then if their HbA1c and blood sugars start to creep up, which will eventually cause immense difficulties for their health? Now I will get into the science of this at a later date, the science of the human entroendocrine system, hormonal balance, and processes such as lipogenesis. We'll dive into more detail at a later date. But in a nutshell, when your blood sugars start to creep up, there is a time where you can easily reverse things before they get to the point of no return. How should you do this then? Well, first and foremost is your diet. If your HbA1c is starting to creep up towards pre-diabetic range, what you want to do Firstly, is be as careful with carbohydrates as possible. That's the number one thing you can do, is limit your intake of carbohydrates, especially bad carbohydrates. Most people out there eat way too many carbs anyway, but specifically, when it comes to carbohydrates, what you want to be careful of are the refined processed white carbohydrates because they've lost their fiber and their main nutrition. 
Then you obviously want to cut back on sugary foods. That goes without saying. You think high blood sugar, you think diabetes, obviously you think sugary foods. But where you have to be careful as well is with processed and packaged foods because frequently they are extremely high in sugar. Your eyes will just pop when you read the ingredient labels. They add sugar to everything nowadays and they do this for a reason to get us all addicted to the food because sugar, as well as being toxic, is also addictive. Other things we can do, well, you want to go as whole and natural as possible. And we all know what the best foods are vegetables, etc. ramp up your intake of the good, wholesome foods. And then it goes without saying, obviously you want to be as active as possible. Exercise, help burn off the calories and stay in the best shape you can. And actually one of the best things that I get to do as a doctor, I've seen many patients who have initiated lifestyle measures. They've taken great care of their diet. They've started exercising more. They've usually lost weight and got into better shape. And lo and behold, their HbA1c starts to creep down and they no longer even need their diabetic medications if they have been actually formally diagnosed with diabetes and been on medications. And I find that incredibly satisfying as a doctor when I get to say to a patient, you no longer need your diabetes medications anymore because you've initiated lifestyle changes and you have reversed and sent into remission this terrible disease. But for all those people who aren't even diabetic, who have pre-diabetes, the news is even better if you initiate lifestyle changes. You can reverse things before you get to the point where your blood sugar is starting to wreak absolute havoc on your body because literally high blood sugar affects everything. It detrimentally affects your metabolism, it affects your immune system, affects your ability to heal from any kind of trauma to the body. We see it all the time as doctors. So the take home message from this video is this. If you are an adult and you want to get a gauge on your metabolic health, HbA1c, glycated hemoglobin, is a really good test of your baseline metabolic health and it starts to creep up as soon as your metabolic health starts to decline. I encourage every adult to get this test done regularly once a year would be fine. Ask your doctor about this particular test. If you haven't had one recently, do get it checked. Thanks everyone for listening. Let me know your thoughts down below. Dr. Sunil Dand, Medstoic Lifestyle Medicine. We'll speak again very soon.